Hello everyone, this is Pontus from Flash Records Java and today I'm going to start a new series uh, because I've been getting like new subscribers and I want to do something on my channel so this is going to be a series where we're going to make our own game engine from start to finish and hopefully at the end make a full game with the engine this is going to be a 2D game engine so and really basic java so you won't need anything you should be able to do this with any computer yeah so this is not gonna include a setup for how to install java and eclipse if you want a video of that uh, leave a comment down below and uh, I'll make a video of it but yeah also I just wanna uh, point out that I'm making this on the fly I haven't prepared anything for this uh, which might seem a bit weird of me but I don't know I I really suck at planning I like to just make stuff as I go and this I kinda know how we are gonna make the engine so it shouldn't be a big problem uh, you guys will be able to uh, Say features you want, and I will add it to the engine. Uh, and yeah, so let's get started with some basic stuff first. Uh, by the way, for this tutorial, you should have a bit of knowledge about Java. Uh, it's always good. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So let's name it for now tutorial engine. No, let's just name it Elephant Engine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there we go. Elephant Engine. That's that's a good name. So there's not really anything we'll take in this library. This will be pure, basic from scratch. Nothing. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty simple engine, but it's still gonna be powerful enough to make games with. So, we're gonna make our package called Elephant Engine. Or no. E Engine. No. E. And Pondus. I like to structure it this way, so, com is. I don't know, I start off with that, so I have source and then uh, com as folder. EE for the project, so elephant engine, and Pontus because it's me doing this. So if we would have multiple people, they would be able to uh, have their own names. Uh, let's. wonder what that does. What does that do? I never tried that. Oh, okay. We don't. We don't need that. Okay, so we have our first package. It's a long three minutes in. We just have a package. I'm gonna be pretty fast going on this, but it's gonna be open source. My previous attempts to using uh, GitHub has really sucked, and. Uh, so it will be open source but not using github because I don't wanna lose it all as I've done with previous projects uh, yeah so anyway our main class that everything is gonna hook up to is gonna call be called engine probably no game because this is gonna be a pure game engine so yeah wait give me a second Uh, yeah. What we were, yeah. This is gonna be a pure game engine. We're gonna focus all on making uh two D games, uh tiled games probably for most part. So we just want a game class. We don't need anything more. Yeah. Okay. So today we're gonna make a frame or something. So. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to make 
is uh, like I don't know how how to put it really. No, really, where to start? Mm. First, we're gonna need make some methods, and as I said, you will need some basic Java knowledge. I'm not gonna teach everyone about what a method is and what stuff like that is because I'm not really good at that kind of stuff. This will, I will tell you how to do it, and you will do it kind of like this. Yeah. So first, we're gonna need a method for setup. That's probably gonna be, whoops. Uh, and bear in mind, I've I've been away for like ten days, so I've been at my computer much. If I misspell shit and so. Oh. So, this is where our game, where the engine first gonna be called from, or like, our own game class later on. I will show you what I mean. Here we want to call setup because that's the first thing we should call. We want to call setup, which will initialize everything in the engine. So uh, we're gonna have another method called. S or no, actually, let's just have everything in there. So we're gonna have a public static G frame. Uh, we're gonna call it frame. This frame is gonna be a window basically. A G frame is a window in Java. You can use other stuff. I think you could just use frame. You can use window. I think that's a more pure kind of thing. I don't know if you get the borders and shit. But yeah, G frame is what I've always used and what I will use. How do you? use Eclipse again. There you go. Uh, so first off, let's set our frame to a new G frame. Uh, so in our constructor here, we're gonna take in a couple of arguments. First off, a name or a title, which is gonna be our window title. Then we're gonna have an integer called width and an int called height. We're gonna pass all of these into uh, the setup. So title with height. Uh, because now we can do title. Uh, we wanna do frame on set size <coughs> with height. <coughs> Sorry. Frame not set. Uh, location relative to null. Okay, so what this does? Let me just explain this. What what we have done? First, as you should know, we initialized the frame. And we pass in the title to the the frame. Uh, then we set the size to width and height. Uh, so basically, if we put in 500, 500 as width and height, it will be a squared window. Yeah. Uh, frame set location relative to null. It's kind of like if you call this after you have set the size, what will happen is it will set the location relative to nothing which means to your screen in this case so it will center the frame else if you would not call this you would get your frame starting up here in the corner and it will go out like 500 by 500 500 so that's not really what you want or we don't no for games like general Applications always open in the middle of the screen. And now frame dot set visible should be everything we need to do. And we should have our game engine. Okay, uh, I'm gonna create a new source folder called testing. In here I'm gonna create conrop 
was not main. Oh, why? Okay, so here we're gonna make a game and we're gonna call it test. Or this, yeah, test. Uh, we wanna generate that and we also, okay, so now we wanna put in game here. Com e pontus. This will extend to our game class as we made, and if we press finish, we should have generated a main class and also a constructor. So you can see the constructor in our actual game uh, also takes this by default as a generation, and it passes it in, in through the super, which calls this. Uh, so all we should need to do is new test. Uh, test game 800 by 600 kind of standard resolution so okay let's hope that this works yeah there we go we got our frame we got a window and uh, whoa why is that so weird to move around probably something with the recorder yeah but um, I'm gonna make like shorter I don't how, how do you say I'm gonna make more and shorter tutorials so like around 10 minutes to 30 minutes maybe between that so this is all for this tutorial and uh, now we have a screen next tutorial we're gonna probably not start rendering stuff we're gonna make some more engine setup because we don't really have an engine yet kind of do but it just gives us a frame we don't have anything to make a game yet so we have a lot of stuff to make <laughs> yeah so anyway i'll see you in the next tutorial if you enjoy this please subscribe and like and also if you have any questions or suggestions for the engine uh, leave a comment Bye.